In this movie, we call this the five-person free ball drill. And what we're trying to establish with the, the players is when free balls go to the center, they go in at a specific height and a specific location. And generally, the barometer we use is antenna height. And then hopefully, they're not moving the center around very much. So this is the first time this group has ran through that. And you'll see they're not quite as accurate as, as, as we want, but they're, they're making progress. So as you can see, two balls are in play and they're working in two separate triangles to start off with and there'll be some variations as we move through this uh, so the three people in the back will set and rotate obviously the setter stays in one spot and she's working on you know outside sets to the pin so now as a variety to this the, the three people in the back will work the same way but now the setter is setting opposite so if the ball comes in behind her she sets in front if the ball comes in from in front of her she sets behind and then the people at the net will push the ball all the way across so it's a little bit more challenging in terms of what the setter does but also what the people who are targets need to do is, instead of passing the ball directly back to the closest person they have to push it all the way across but it's still a priority on you know tempo and accuracy and then the last variation will be the the setter can set either way front or back and then the people who are targets can put the ball back to either uh, the right back or left back target person so uh, a lot more communication is needed especially for the people in the back row where they sometimes they switch sometimes they're going to have to stay because multiple balls may come back to them immediately and at times as you see the back row people might set to themselves maybe to get the drill back on Temple you saw it right there and this is a great thing for the back row people where they have to be aware of multiple things they have to be aware of where the ball you know their contact in terms of the ball going to the setter the next ball coming to them and then the general tempo of the drill so this is a good overhead ball handling drill that forces the players to concentrate and still in encourages you know a good rhythm with all the, the overhead contacts